There you go. Let's talk taking stock. Buy or sell? What are we going to buy and sell today? All right. I finally found out. I know everyone at WrestleAM had a big had a big uh, worry. They're like, oh, my God. What is A of A? I don't know. I know what it is. I figured it out. And TNA is doing one this Thursday. Acolytes of Apocalypse. Acolytes of Apocalypse are not on the buy or sell list. Announcements of announcements are on the sell list. And thank you, TNA, for reminding me what A of A was. I just can't believe we live in an age where people think announcement of announcements work. Has there, has there ever been a show, sport, or TV that you said, oh, there's an announcement of an announcement? That you're like, oh, I'm gonna tune in for that. You know, like does I've anyone else a lot do of that? Dynamite. What's that? I've watched a lot of dynamites. <laughs> yes, yes. I never but I mean the reason why is the announcement because like even video games, video games will drag out their release. They'll be like, you know, hey, we got you know, this is coming. Oh, look, here's that. But I don't even think video games as whorish as they are ever do an announcement of an announcement. Can you imagine EA Sports? Next week, we have a huge announcement. Like, what the fuck is that? What? You know what? Every show we're going to have next, next episode of WrestleAM, we have an announcement. We have an announcement. Okay, it's going to be huge. A huge announcement next week on WrestleAM. Right, Coco Sport it, branded condoms. <laughs> we're making it happen <laughs> here's the thing if we had branded condoms A I'm not above a, that but B, but B can we get in trouble if someone gets you know a stump the idiot but it means something else <laughs> and, I don't think so or else Trojan would have problems yeah and what if they have a kid and like I trusted you I mean no condoms. Trojan ha again Trojan yeah. It's not guaranteed. True. It's 99%. That is true. Like, sorry, bud. 1%. Yeah. Congratulations. You, you've won the Japanese anime. Every, I'm selling and Japanese. Like if they take you to court and they say, like, it, the condom busted, just be like, oh, have your lawyers just sell it. It's, oh, his penis was just too powerful. Oh, so impressive. So impressive. And the guy will be like, yeah, let's settle. Let's settle. <laughs> These guys, can you guys make the These statement about that? Oh, yeah, we'll make a statement. We actually, can we put your name on the packages with your picture? Like, it's, uh, be careful if you were like John Joseph and <laughs> his penis was too strong. That, But that announcement's coming next week. <laughs> uh, bye. Smaller tournaments and smaller rosters. I think when it comes to AEW and WWE, the rosters are way too big. Maybe New Japan a little bit. But I think New Japan, they have this giant G1. But let's be honest, half the guys do not deserve to be there. If you cut the G1 in half, it is a ten times, a million times better tournament. And AEW, I know AEW and WWE is like, if I don't sign them, they will. You know, you got that drama and that helps the wrestlers paydays but in mm -hmm. reality like if you're just gonna sit in the back and do nothing or sneak around and make sure you don't get picked out like nakamura favorite interview ever what's stressful about wwe i always try to hide in the back so i don't have to have a match <laughs> man's a genius so if you see if you, if you see nakamura on wwe that just means he was caught at, in catering it's like they always catch me in catering. <laughs> I bet you there's been someone on the WWE roster for years that we forgot about, and he just hides all the time. Like there's yeah, probably name was some... Simon Gotch for a long time. Simon Gotch, he's just like I'm gonna, I'm just gonna ride this out, man. Like he don't, he don't even go to catering. He gets Burger King and hides in the corner. <laughs> Big show for a long time. Oh, yeah, but Big Show definitely couldn't hide. I, I, <laughs> no, nah, but he was back there not getting used for a long time. That is true. That is true. Uh, so, yeah, giant, smaller rosters. There you go. 
Uh, you got anything? Buy or sell, sir? Yeah, I want to sell heels relying on their numbers to win. It's like all anyone's doing in American wrestling right now, and it's really obnoxious. You got you got the uh, the heels and the blood and guts match using their numbers to win. Leading up to that, you had the faces using their numbers to win when they were being heels, because everybody was a heel in that match, depending on your perspective. Yeah. And New Japan does that. There's like three or four matches, and they'll book them back to back, where like the Bullet Club or 87,000 members of different Bullet Clubs will attack before the match even begins. And here's the thing. The fans don't like it. The commentary doesn't like it. Why are we doing this, New Japan? I honestly think Ghetto thinks Americans like it. And it's because you fucking positive PDs going, everything is awesome! Ghetto, I just want you to know, I hate all those multi-man matches, and I feel like you infected Tony Khan at some point during you guys setting up for Forbidden Door. I've told Coco this off-air. Forbidden Door 2, ever since then, multi-man, multi-man. I don't know what you did to that man, but all he does is multi-man matches now. You created a problem, and you need to fix it, Ghetto. Ghetto, Ghetto, uh, he's right here. What do you say, Ghetto? Ghetto says that's the way of Japan. He's like, you make sure that so many shitty matches that when it's one-on-one, it feels special. (laughs) And then, oh, hold on. I have to do it. Are you rubbing your nipples? Raccoon, rub your nipples. But it's Japan! Which one? Uh, oh, yeah. Do you have multiple nipples? I thought, are you yeah, a male I have raccoon? Multiple nipples. I mean, you have multiple nipples, dumbass. Well, yeah, I know. But, okay, I guess two nipples. I thought you were, <laughs> I thought you were having, like, fucking udders down there. I don't know. I haven't seen a raccoon naked in a long time. <laughs> uh, you got to rub both you nipples. Have multiple rub nipples? all the nipples. Well, because I thought you meant, like, Rose's set. I was like, whoa, should I be calling you Lady Raccoon? But I don't know. Do men raccoons have tons of nipples? Have you never had a pet? I've had like a, a pet, dog, but I don't really cat? stare at its nipples. Yeah, they do have nipples, though. Yeah. Cats have nipples. I guess. I, I wasn't expecting so many nipples from you, dude. This changes our relationship. This changes yeah. the way I look at you. I have enough for a multi-man match. Oh, yeah. Every man can rub your nipples. Yep. There you go. But it's Japan. <laughs> Does it make sense? Does it I'm make sense? I'm also selling Charlotte's finisher. The natural selection, I hate it. Because, like, when she does, when the when the person getting hit with it doesn't, like, sell it, when they just, like, hardly move, it looks atrocious. Because it's just her doing a flip to land on her back. And it's like, you, you botched a flip while holding someone's head. But they didn't move like hardly at all. That that all I saw was you botch a flip while holding someone. Got it. By DDT, they had a great Peter Pan, but I forgot to review it. So good job, DDT. And I think that's it. Hour and five and minutes. We did it. High five. It feels good, boys. Wherever you are watching us, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, give us hearts, stars, whatever it takes. Spread the word of WrestleAM. Also, check out at Sid's Light on everything. Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok. I don't know. Do you have a TikTok? Mm, yeah. TikTok? Make sure to check it out everywhere. And I'm at Coco Sports everywhere. And um, I watched Mission Impossible. This is like bonus content. I don't know if you want to keep it in a take it stock segment. I watched Mission Impossible, right? And the big, a fun movie, tons of stunts, just just a good popcorn movie, you know? Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. Um, the main bad guy is AI. And, okay. you know, Tom Cruise is, like, afraid of AI, whatever. He's the villain. Um, very groundbreaking. Never been done at least five billion times before that. But the same guy I'm seeing Tom Cruise scared of AI, Meta, Facebook, and Instagram do not know I'm me because I grew a beard. So, like, I have to get a, a payment to clear through Meta. And mm-hmm. I was like, they're like, oh, show us ID. Like, okay, Zark Fuckerberg, you're definitely going to masturbate to that. I show the ID and he go, no, the guy on the ID doesn't have a beard. You have a beard. But I'm talking to AI. So, Tom Cruise, calm the fuck down, okay? AI, AI can't even fucking realize that I have a beard. That's it. 
By the way, people... Well, that's consumer access AI. Yeah. They're like, that's not you. It's like, all right, do I have to fucking shave? It's like, I think I think the, I think think the they owe me like less than $30. I don't think I shave for $30. Do you think they're doing it on purpose? They're like, hmm. Yeah, that's not you. I did. I need my thirty dollars. Mm, and I don't know. This guy here doesn't have a beard. Like AI is scamming us. I think it's just Mark Zuckerberg intentionally doing it to you, and Zark. then laughing. He, the f- he listens to the podcast and he's like, "Listen to this guy talking for twenty-seven minutes about how he can't figure out how to do pictures." All I'm saying, Zark, is I wanted twenty, twenty to thirty fucking dollars, and your stupid AI your says I'm not me. Mark's offering you 30 bucks to shave your beard. <laughs> Mark's like, I can control you. How can I get this fucker to shave his beard? <laughs> he said 30 bucks to shave your beard. All right, Zark Fuckerberg, follow at Since Light on everything. Everyone else, follow everyone on Coco Sports. Now listen, more people will follow me, but you'll have Zark Fuckerberg following you. I think that's a win. That's okay. I think that's a win. All right, with that, I am over. Why is it always you're over? Why are we over? Well, I actually don't. I actually, I'll tell you that in another episode.